So something big could be happening. Instagram have just announced that they are about to test a different way of displaying images on the platform. So in a video, which I'll show you in a second, Adam Aziri says that they are going to test tall images, specifically 9 by 16. So that is the same size that reels are now, or a standard video if you turn it on its side, vertical if you will. Now this video raises quite a few questions for me as a photographer, and I know that you're going to be wondering a few things as photographers. Some exciting things and some worrying, but before I get into it, let's just take a look at that video. One step on that path we're starting to experiment with this week, which is a test where both photos and videos take up more of your screen. We know the future of video and the future of photos are mobile first. They are 9 by 16, they are immersive. And so what you'll see is us testing out taller photos and taller videos in your feed. Now in this video, he says something very odd. He says the future of video and the future of photos are mobile first. First of all, I disagree with that. But then he continues by saying the future of video and the future of photos are nine by 16, which from a photography standpoint is a very strange thing to say. I don't really know anybody that intentionally crops their photos to a nine by 16 unless it's being used on a TV screen turned on its side or something similar to that. So to say that the future of photos is nine by 16, so vertical, is very strange. I think I've probably taken that out of context because to me, a photo is from a camera, whereas he's probably talking about it as in the photo on Instagram, which could just be a snap from a phone. But if he's saying from his point of view, the future of photos is nine by 16, it's reasonable to assume that this new aspect ratio that they're talking about could be forced, or at least that the UI will be optimized for nine by 16. Now, side note, right now, many photographers shoot portrait like this, and they optimize it by cropping four by five. That is the biggest vertical crop that you can have on Instagram. This is something that many photographers do now because that is the biggest photo you can possibly have on Instagram. So if there is an aspect ratio which gives you that, people will most likely do that. So this leads me to think what happens when you upload a landscape photo? Does this mean that we are essentially killing off the landscape posts, if the future is nine by 16, so vertical like this. Now you don't see many of them, but people do still post landscape for good reason, because sometimes that is the best way for you to crop your photo from a creative point of view. Now I'd be very interested to see whether the UI of reels carries over to photos, because that's what he's kind of implying. And that will really change the way that actual photographers post their images. Now, assuming all of that is true, the next question for me is, what does this mean for the grid? I think I know what this means, but right now, if you post a four by five, so the biggest portrait image you can, you can post, now that is slightly bigger than the square, which means when you crop them square for the grid, they don't really suffer too much, but cropping a nine by 16 to a square will pretty much in most cases ruin the image because people will compose the shot for nine by 16. Maybe they'll have a portrait of someone at the top. They will crop it into the square and completely ruin the photo on the grid, which probably won't matter because of what I think is coming. I think it's very possible that we will see that the reels grid, also known as the TikTok grid, will probably become the main grid. If they're unifying photos and videos into this nine by 16, so everything is gonna be the same size, it makes sense for the grid and the thumbnail to also be that size. So you see everything just like you do on TikTok. So what does this mean for the home screen? You know, we have solid evidence here. In the video, he says, we're moving Instagram to a place where video is a bigger part of the home experience. You see right now, in terms of user experience, reels have been crafted to fit the old feed. They're secondary from a user experience point of view. Now I think by saying that video is gonna become a bigger part of the home experience, means that the home experience is gonna be designed around reels or videos and photos are being changed to fit that new design. And that again adds weight to my thoughts that maybe they're gonna force the nine by 16. Now just quickly on what I'm saying, are they gonna force it? Stories are not forced. You can have any kind of shape of, of image in stories, but most people fill the space. 
And that's what I'm talking about when they say forced. From a user experience point of view, it makes you want to post photos in a certain way. Another interesting thing that he said is that they are more immersive. You know, they're going for a more immersive experience. I think this is kind of a clue to some messaging for the future here. They're obviously bringing a bit of the kind of VR metaverse language that I don't think really fits. Does adding just a little bit to the top and bottom of the image really make it more immersive? I think that's going a little bit far personally, but it is interesting. Wild speculation tells me that kind of meta have plans to bring Instagram into a more immersive platform or maybe explore that in the future. And that's probably where that language comes from. But I don't think I'm winning any prizes for kind of guessing that. So the really big thing for us photographers is will this result in us being able to post images in the kind of native aspect ratio straight out of a camera, which I believe is three by two. So what I mean is when you take a photo on a camera, you can't post that full image on Instagram because the crop doesn't allow for it. But in 9x16, you could technically post that image. But if the user interface doesn't look good when you post a 3x2, you either need to crop the sides or you'll have black bars at the top and bottom. So it kind of leaves us in the same position, but with a different crop. And my intuition is telling me that much like with stories, when you post a three by two to stories, you tend to lose the sides. You, you make it as big as you can. I feel like that's where people are gonna go. Now this isn't rolled out yet and he said it's being tested imminently. So it's not necessarily something that they're gonna implement, but it is being tested. I haven't seen this in action. I haven't even seen a blog post on their website yet, which is what I usually look out for. You might come across this. So if you do, let me know in the comments, what do you think of it? And if you had the choice of posting nine by 16, so full screen images on a phone, or three by two that comes out of the camera, which would you choose? I'd love to know, let me know in the comments. And while I've got the photographer's attention on this video, I'm kind of planning my next landscape photography missions. I just posted a video I really enjoyed making, a uh, sunset I caught in Snowdonia. I'll link that in the description for anyone that missed it. But I'm thinking I wanna make these trips a little bit more interactive where I let kind of democracy decide where I go next. The next missions I'm thinking is maybe Lake District, maybe the Peak District, uh, maybe Cheddar Gorge, some places that I've never been before. So if you've got any ideas for great locations to go to, they don't have to be landscape photography ones, just really nice looking locations, let me know in the comments and I'll shout out who's ever, you know, comment I pick to go on my next mission. I look forward to seeing some suggestions and keep your eye out for this new test on Instagram because I'm a little bit excited about it and I'll see you in the next one.